Why penguins can't fly? Let's go back about 60 or 62 million years. In New Zealand lives Waimanu Manurangi, a species of bird with black and white plumage, with a long beak and a similar size of the actual yellow-eyed penguin. Graceful and skillful while hunting, he spends most of its time with its peers. What does it make him unique? He cannot fly. Waimanu Manurangi is the oldest penguin known. And it is probably one of the main ancestors of modern penguins, because he had already lost his ability to fly and he was a good swimmer instead. The answer to why penguins do not fly has puzzled scientists for many years, but it is accepted that this characteristic that they have in common with other birds like the ostrich and the emu, is the product of a long evolution. First. Let's rule out reasons why they cannot fly, it is not only because their weight stops them from doing it. It is not also because their wings are too short. It is not either because they do not have the need to move over long distances. For example, the emperor penguin travels thousands of kilometers to breed in Antarctica. The best theory is that their ancestors gradually lost the need to fly because they started to adapt better to the water, where they found abundant food. Also, it is believed that they did not face many predators, and therefore there was no need to escape from them through the air. While their ancestors became more dependent on food from the ocean, they adapted to the aquatic environment better and became expert divers. Their need to fly diminished and their body gradually modified to be more efficient in the water. As the wings hardly move underwater, they became more compact and acquired the form of flippers. A biomechanical hypothesis states that the wings of the penguins are not able to fly and swim great at the same time. It means that either they swim excellent, or they fly extraordinarily. At some point, Flying became unsustainable because of the extra energy needed for such activity. Additionally, with their current anatomy it would be physically impossible to flight. Their bones are compact and dense, instead of hollow and light like the flying birds. Their flippers are narrow and with short feathers, and their sternum allows them better mobility in the water. Maybe the penguins are not the example of elegance in the air, but they are the perfect example of super swimmer birds. Follow us in the social networks. Twitter. Facebook. YouTube. Pinterest. Google Plus, SoundCloud and others. For more information visit bioexpedition.com.